Bad day? Yeah. The IRS call you again? I wish. This is Eleanor. So who was it? Marianne. She wants to move in with me. And you said? What could I say? She had an answer for every excuse I could think of. <sighs> How about I just don't want a roommate right now? A roommate? We're sisters. Well, she can't be that bad, can she? No. I guess it's more practical. I have an extra room and she's out of money again. It's more efficient. Efficient, always a good reason. I just don't want to look after her. Well, you don't have to. She's a big girl. Can't she look after herself? If she's thinking clearly, she graduated in philosophy because she was chasing a hot guy through the program. At least she graduated. Barely. Grant. Hey. You really should give an ambulance a warning before you come over. You've got another receptionist out there and she's hyperventilating. Oh, no. Does she need a paper bag? <sighs> well, apparently you're wicked hot. I wish all women thought so. <laughs> Get out of my chair. You want to go to dinner tonight after work? I can't. I'm supposed to go to Eleanor's. And I have a client who's on her way over now, so I'm probably going to be late. Are all of your divorce clients women? Are you asking that because you think I only side with my gender? I am curious. Well, the answer is no. I have to meet men somehow, don't I? I didn't realize newly divorced men were your thing. Ew, no, you know me better than that. Sometimes I meet a nice gem I can set up with someone. Yeah, you know, speaking of, Brenda was a disaster. Brenda... That's embarrassing. You set me up with her and you don't remember. I set you up with everybody that I know and you shoot them all down. I can't keep tabs. No, Brenda ate with chopsticks. So? At an Italian restaurant. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, she keeps an extra set in her purse in case the eating establishment, whether it's a burger joint or a taco shop, doesn't offer them. What about dessert? I didn't dare take her for ice cream after that. All right. I'm sorry. Thank you. You were just waiting for that, weren't you? I don't hear it enough. <laughs> Get out! I'm very busy. Mm-hmm. Of course you are. Yeah. All moved in? Uh, yeah. Getting there. Oh, you must be hungry. Here, I'll order pizza. My treat. Wow, that was really fast. <laughs> Is Eleanor here? Um, yeah. Hey, Eleanor. You must be Marianne. Yeah. It's been a while. Uh, Eleanor and I went to school together. Elizabeth, yes? Lizzie, but yeah. Come in, please, come in. So, you live here now. Yeah, isn't it great? Hi. Hey. I brought pizza. Thank you. New plates? Hers? Oh, I like the centerpiece. Is Emma coming? She should be. Hey, uh, sorry I'm late. Hi. Hi, Marianne. Hi. Ooh, want some pizza? Yes. So, I have a favor to ask you. Sure, what's up? Uh, well, my parents are getting a divorce. And I need you to convince them not to. When did this happen? Dad called yesterday. I'm sorry, hon. So, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know if I can convince them not to split up. Are you a therapist? A divorce attorney. Come on, you must see situations all the time where the couple is better together than apart. Uh, not really. I mean, if they're willing to pay my rates, they tend to be pretty serious. Well, you like to matchmake. You know, work your magic. Talk to them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Matchmaking and divorce attorney? One's just a hobby and the other one pays the bills. Lizzie, I honestly have no idea. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Easy. They're both fighting over who gets you as their attorney. Are you serious? <laughs> Well, I choose your dad. Good choice. Emma! What? I mean, if I have to choose, I have actually met your mother. I know. I know she's not exactly easy to tolerate. 
but please. <sighs> Fine, if I do this, what will you give me? Um, my endless appreciation for your talent. Um, no, not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> well then, how about a piece of pizza? <laughs> Deal, <laughs> quick, before I change my mind. Hey. Wow. So this is where you work, huh? What are you doing here? Oh, I needed a break. Break from what? Mm, unpacking, cleaning up. You cleaned up? Well, yeah, your stuff had to be put away. My stuff? Marianne, it's my apartment. I know, and you were going to love the way it looks when I'm finished. I liked how it looked two days ago. Well, that's just because you didn't know any better. Trust me, I am fabulous at interior design. Fine. So, what you doing? Working. You know, I thought this tax thing was a phase. Accounting is a career. Speaking of, when are you gonna get a job? I'm looking. And? I just haven't found anything interesting yet. Great. Surprised you stuck with this, though. You know, for most people, a career isn't something that you change every three months. Okay, just because I won't put up with a mediocre work environment does not make me indecisive. It doesn't make you reliable, either. Okay, you are in a foul mood, so I will leave you. Thank you. Marianne, wait. Classifieds. If it helps. Thanks. Well, hello to you too. I'm doing fantastic. How are you today? Come on, Emma, I have a showing in a minute. <sighs> okay. I met with your parents. It was interesting. And he never listens to a word I say. He'll just sit in his library and read book after book after book after book. All I want is a little appreciation for all of the hard work I do. I oversee the house, and then, of course, there's Mary and Lydia and Kitty. Well, they're all still living at home, you know. But she had to have something good to say about him. Right? It wasn't always like this. He was actually quite romantic. <laughs> he used to actually quote from those books of his. <laughs> now he's just, well, indifferent. And I won't stand for it, not when I was quite the sought-after girl in my day. <laughs> Define good. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Liz. Do you really think she wants a divorce, though? Look, I'll tell you, but only because I'm definitely choosing your dad to represent. I think that your mum will go through with the divorce unless your dad makes amends first. So there's hope. Um, what? What did my dad say? <sighs> you then? Quiet. I can't tell you. It's like an attorney client thing. <sighs> this is my father we're talking about. Fine. It's, it's like they're both waiting for the other one to act. You know? And honestly, I think your dad would back down if, if your mom did. Sure. That's what it was like when I lived with them. They'd fight, they'd bicker, they'd ignore each other for two days. Till finally one of them would act like nothing happened and everything would be fine for about an hour. And then they'd start again. How did they even manage to last this long? That's what you need to find out. Come on, Emma. You are my only hope. Liz, don't you think that maybe they'd be better off apart? I don't know. I just hate to see their marriage fail, you know? Besides, if my parents got a divorce, what would my mother do then? You're just afraid she's gonna come live with you. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth Bennett. Oh. No, sorry, I thought you were the client. Not yet. The Miller House. Uh, well, we're still waiting on the bank. Something about needing more proof of assets since the appraisal came in low. As far as I know, everything will be fine. Just a little delayed. Okay, I'll check on it as soon as I get back to the office. Great, thanks, bye. Hi, you must be Mr. Darcy. Yeah, if you're done, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Did you have trouble finding it? What? The address? Oh, I drive by all the time. Look, I found the house, which is why if I buy it, I'm only giving you 2%. Okay. The 
house has been very well maintained. There is a great level of detail in the faux finished marble walls here in the dining room and the crown molding. Yeah, I have eyes. Then you'll notice the wood shutter blinds, highest quality. Yeah, I'd rather notice them in silence. Sure. I'll just stand over here and check my email. It's not what I'm looking for. Shocker. Best of luck to you then. You're not gonna show me other homes you've listed? You seemed particular about your specifications. You know, most realtors would jump at the chance to lock in a client. You're not interested in being locked in. No, but it speaks to a lack of ambition that you're not gonna try anyway. My motto is to work smarter, not harder. Why waste my time with your ego for 2% when I can find a suitable buyer for the full six? Need a drum set? An idea. Well, luckily, I've brought some inspiration. <gasps> Ooh, inspiration. Oh, oh, no chopsticks? Ha, ha, ha. <gasps> oh, mm, thank you. My pleasure. So? Lizzie's parents want a divorce. And she came to you to represent one of them? No, she came to me to keep them together. I would think the challenge would have you doing cartwheels. This is not my thing. What do you mean? It's matching people together. It's creating happily ever afters. It's not like that. This is gluing two people together who already had their happily ever after and they hated it. Wait, is, is this you defeated? That's amazing. Don't. don't. I don't. I can't do it. Look, just because they're broken or however you want to see it, doesn't mean their relationship can't be fixed. Okay, but I'm drawing a blank. I just, usually I set two people up because I can, I can imagine how amazing they'd be together. You know, I don't even like either one of them. You don't have to. That was my favorite mug. And if you want it bad enough, you'll find a way to fix it. Oh, mean. You're so lucky you brought me sugar. This has to stop. What? This. All of this stuff of yours. Oh, come on, it's cute. I'll decide if it's cute or not. This is my apartment. Well, don't I get a say? Do you pay rent? I will, I just, I haven't found a job yet. You haven't even looked. Yes, I have. Oh, really? Tell me three jobs that you've looked at today. Uh, well, there was the call center. You see, you haven't even tried. You're just gonna sit back and mooch off of somebody else. I don't do that. Ha. Huh. Anymore. You know what? You're not making any real contributions either. You always do this. You are so rigid. It has to be my way. Why don't you try relaxing, loosening up, you know, do something new. I don't want new. I want it my way. Fine. 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 Any ideas about my parents? Not really, but doesn't really help with you pressuring me. Sorry. Why so glum? Marianne. What happened? We got in an argument last night, and then again this morning. What are you doing? Moving out. Marianne. No, it's what you want. And come to think of it, it's what I want too. I was just gonna say that that's mine. Oh, gross. 
Are you sure about this? Uh, yeah. So do you think she'll really move out? She was packing. Will you miss her? No. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. I just don't enjoy the guilt. I mean, why should I feel guilty? You shouldn't. It's your life. My life would be so much simpler without her around every day. But she's my sister. And it feels wrong to leave her on her own. She's the one who decided to move out. I didn't help matters, though. You're doing it again. What? Letting other people call the shots in your life. You're being a pushover. Stop. I'm not a pushover. <laughs> if I let this happen, she'll resent me for years. It's her choice if she wants to hold a grudge. Yeah, but do I really want to be the one that drives her away? <sighs> Hello, Mr. Bennett. Um, Emma. Yes, I was wondering if you had any time available this evening to come and sign some legal documents. No, no, I'm, I'm busy the rest of the day. How does um, seven o'clock work for you? Perfect. All right, I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> Mrs. Bennett? Hello, Mrs. Bennett. This is Emma Woodhouse. I was wondering if you had any time to come over and chat. How does seven o'clock work for you? Great. All right, I'll see you then. Okay. All right then. Okay, okay bye. Here we go. <clears throat> Dropping off your key. Marianne, wait. Where are you gonna go? Friend's house for a few days. And then? I don't know, Eleanor. Maybe, um, maybe you can stay with me a little longer. My, my. Coming around, are we? I'm trying to do the right thing. I am not your project. You're not. But I think we can make this work. How? We'll take compromises. <laughs> From both of us. But if you're willing to try, then so am I. Okay. If you want me to stay, I can do that for you. Wasn't expecting dinner. <laughs> it's a little unorthodox, I'll admit. Well, I haven't eaten yet, so shall we? Actually, it's not for me. It's for you and Mrs. Bennett. This is Lizzie's doing, isn't it? Well, not just Lizzie. I, I want you to be sure you know what you're going through with. I mean, d divorce isn't something you just rush into. You tell all your clients this? No, I'd be broke. I, I mean, if they asked, maybe I, I would tell. I'm not getting billed for this, though, right? No, off the clock, I promise. Oh. Hi. So how was traffic? Was traffic good? What's he doing here? Oh, um, well, I just thought that perhaps that we could maybe sit down and talk Be to Be honest. She's trying to keep us from going through with this. Think of your daughters. Tell him to think of his daughters. He's always mocking them. Only the silly ones. Mr. Bennett, do you really want your girls to be unhappy? And Mrs. Bennett, you don't want to lose your spouse of 30 years, do you? I, I do, do too. too. Or do either one of you want to be the one that's responsible for, you, for your divorce? She's, She's responsible. responsible. Look, we both want a divorce. You see, you're agreeing. You're agreeing on that. that that's a start. In this case, I think it's an end. Just do me a favor. For Lizzie's sake, just have dinner together. It's getting cold. It looks good, huh? I don't know, Lizzie. It seemed pretty pointless when I left them. <laughs> no. Not yet. Well, there's no shouting, though. I don't get your hopes up. Wait, I hear something weird. I gotta go. I gotta go. Did, did you slap him? Oh, no. 
know why I suspect it's food allergies from the meal. Oh, I am so sorry. Don't I... worry. It's not like threatening. Uh, no, no. I'll just take him home and get a little hydrocortisone cream on that. He'll be just fine. <laughs> Thanks for the dinner. It was delicious. Well, until I started itching. Now stop it and keep your hands off that, honey. Well, that didn't go quite as expected. You did it. I did. Mom just called. They got back together. Oh, they did. Oh, yay. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, That's thank great. you. Thank you so much. Oh, I didn't really do anything. Well, I did make your dad break out in hives, so you're welcome. <laughs> well, maybe Mom needs to trigger Dad's allergies more often. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> well, whatever you did, it worked. Good. Do you think it'll last this time? For six months, at least. That doesn't sound very optimistic. I am never doing this again. They just need to hold on to the love they have, you know? Not let the little negative things get in the way. Apparently, that's easier said than done from what I've seen. Yet feasible. Well then, to your parents. May their marriage last longer than my career. <laughs> Assuming my career hey, is long and amazing. You're on the O'Brien case? Yes. That's my client. No, the father was for business contracts. His daughter, Miss O'Brien, came to see me about a prenup. Same family, my client. Prenups aren't your forte. Don't ever question my legal abilities. William Darcy. Oh, how do you know? I showed a house to him the other day. Major jerk. Yeah, he certainly has his moments, doesn't he? <sighs> Thank you for never setting me up on a date with him. Are you joking? <laughs> Even I know my limits. I don't think I could make anybody fall in love with that man. <laughs> Thank you. No. I have to draw the line somewhere. Oh, come on. It is so cute. That's your opinion, not mine. Well, I bet if I asked Lizzie and Emma, they would side with me. Then give the glasses to them. <laughs> come on, can't we just keep one? You've got your pillows. Which are adorable, by the way. Not to the animal they're mimicking. You've got your that. I gave you three of the five drawers in the bathroom. I said thank you. And I can smell whatever incense you're cooking in your bedroom from here. Can we just keep one? Please, one, just one. Okay. Thank you. But it just, it looks so lonely. Just look at it, I mean, it really would look better if there were two. <laughs> <laughs>